Hi people living in Zen and today a video about the Arai X4 Tour combining with the Sina 30K. If you don't know what the Sina 30K is, this is the Sina 30K. So if you're wondering why these Velcros on here, these are for me the way to put the GoPro on this helmet. If you want to know more about that, check out that video or check out the Climb video, uh, Climb Christ Pro video, I should say, where I also put the GoPro on. But there are two different ways uh, using that microphone on this helmet or on the other helmet. So to install the scene, you of course need this helmet. I'm going to put a little bit to the side because there is something with the Cena that we first have to adjust. And what is it? The Cena normally comes with that boom microphone. Now I'm not going to use the boom microphone because there's a lot of microphone inside the helmet and we don't need it because we have this. It's just a microphone that you can stick inside your helmet using the adhesive that's here on the back. So what we're first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the boom mic off and as you can see this boom mic is already pretty damaged because I used it a lot on um, my open helmet and I gotta be honest it wasn't that good. That's one of the reasons besides the mode of logging that I changed to um, full face helmet. Also there's of course some safety things but Okay, so first get the screws off, and these screws are hexagon screws. And that way you can lift this plate. Now I'm going to leave this one, because this one also uses a uh, Phillips screw, and that's for the uh, headphones. Uh, when the back plate is off, you only have to take this one out, and then the microphone is off. I wouldn't say throw it away, because you might need that cable, or use the phone pad, or whatever. Just get the metal ring of it and then just plug it in turn this one there's something you have to turn that makes it uh, stick a little bit better and then you're good to go you can put this in your helmet now I always want to put this a little bit on uh, the side on the cheek pad so that it doesn't um, when you breathe out you don't hear a lot of like <sighs> your helmet not that heavy breathing side like you're running some kind of um, porn agency or whatever so everything is good to go now the only thing I have to do is get this back plate uh, back again and see how the wiring goes for some reason it just got a little bit tangled but that's no problem so, um, I also did this on the Climb Cryos Pro and I needed to do a really different approach. I could not use this clam. Um, so if you want to know a little bit more about how you can use the Cena 30K on the Climb Cryos Pro, I really would check that thing out because that's a completely different way of putting that Cena to a helmet. So if you have trouble using this kind of clam, then you should really check it out. So back to the helmet and it's going to be on the left side of the helmet. Just so that you know, on the left side. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get this padding off and I'm just going to put it in there that's kind of all you have to do turn it around because there are again the screws the hexagon screws that you have to tighten and if you tighten like these hexagon screws make sure that you not put one entirely to as fast as possible but just make sure you feel like okay I'm getting a little bit of uh, friction then take the other one and if you feel a little bit of friction take again the first one and that way you know you get an evil sorry not evil but an equal um, pressure and that you 
Avid in a good way mounted to your helmet. What I found out, if you take one screw and just get it in as tight as possible, the other one gets loose. So that's it. And since everything is out, just take this, these parts, and put it in. Now, what you can see, we have this, and this does not fit, stick really that good to the inside of your helmet. So, I would recommend you take a sticker and put that sticker over your speaker, that way it will stick to the side of your helmet. And you probably don't need anything else. If you think, ah, they're a little bit too far away from me or whatever, you can have these thicker parts, you can put on them, see, and then put that inside your helmet. Now, I don't think I'm going to need this. Because what I found out, if I use those thicker ones and I put on my helmet, my just the lobes of my ear aren't that comfortable. And of course, I have to do that with it too. So I'm get that, gonna get that foam off a little bit and get that sticker off. Now there's also a really helpful tool to get all the wiring inside your helmet and I would not have known it if they, they didn't come with the original um, part of the Harley Davidson communication system. Do you know the one that you can put in your uh, helmet with the Ultras or the Limited I should say. It's a ice lollipop stick wooden thing. I'll show you in a minute. So. You got a long cable, the long cable goes all the way to that side, and the short cable goes in here. So let's get that one over there. And there's a really nice spot inside the helmet. I don't think you can see it. Try it this way. And there, where is it? There's a, a dent like a little hole that you can put your um, speakers in. And then I'm just going to put it the other way around. This one is for the GoPro. And then just tuck away all the wiring somewhere here. Now this is a problem you would think. But if you just take that popsicle stick, you can put it right there. See that? It's really, really easy and it fits perfectly. It takes a little bit of time, but once you get it in, it will stick in. Now all you have to do is put the microphone in, and that's kind of basically the same way. Just stick it on your helmet, put the cord in your cheek pads like you did with the GoPro, and you're done. All you have to do now, charge that one, connect it to your phone, and you're good to go. So this is how you can put the Cena 30K on your helmet, or in this case, the Tor X4 from Arai. If you want to know how you, I put the GoPro on front of it, I think it's the perfect solution to put it. Check out the other video. 
If you want to know how to do it without the clamp, if you have something different, check out the one with the Climb Cryos Pro, because with the Climb Cryos Pro you cannot use that clamp, you have to use something else. So that's it for today, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and if you have a question, don't forget to leave the one underneath the comment field, and it would really help if you give me a big thumbs up, because that's something YouTube algorithm likes. So that's it for now, see you guys on the road.